As you can see, we're starting from a base coat of Grey Seer Spray, and as you can also see, I have kept his cape separate for this uh, part of the video. Now I'm going to apply Militarum Green. As always, I'm going back with a clean brush to clean to absorb any excess and make sure I'm not clogging up any details. This is especially important here on the coat because you can see it leaves big, massive, big pullings here on the bottom, and we don't want that. We will darken this down later on, but in a controlled way. So I ended up doing two coats of Mediterranean Green to get to this beautiful deep uh, green. And I'm going to start doing all the camouflage pattern now. And I'm going to start with the light uh, spots. And this is Elysian Green, which has been thinned down with Lamia Medium to this sort of consistency. Like that. And I'm going to do a spots of this over all the cape here. I use a uh, Lamia Medium to thin this down so it doesn't uh, dry in a in a weird coffee staining way. And we are applying this dot so it's very important we do that. Trying to be as random as possible here. With that first uh, dot done I'm going to move into darker color, this will be Crete Camo. And I'm going to apply it uh, straight out of the pot here. And I'm just going to do the same kind of pattern these dots and spots that they have on their cloak. I'm going to apply this thick because I want this to be dark and uh, be seen. And don't be afraid to cover some of the lighter spots if you feel like it. Now I'm going to move into the last of the camouflage uh, dots and this will be Saigor Brown. You still want to go all over but uh, don't overdo this. This is the time when I need to confess I made a mistake. Um, I've painted all the camo pattern before doing the first highlight and that was a mistake. So if you're going to follow this tutorial, don't do all the camo pattern before doing the first highlight. So for this first highlight on the camo cloak, I'm going to use Elysian Green. I'm going to thin down my Elysian Green into this sort of consistency and I'm just going to apply a highlight over all the folds. As you can see, I am going to cover up a lot of the camo, but again, I'm just going to reapply it later on. I'm going to do another highlight on the cloak, and this time you want this to be on top of your camo. And this will be a green camo. And I'm just going to do a very thin edge highlight with this. And now for the final highlight on the cloak, I'm going to use Screaming Skull. And I will just pick up the, they will do the same edge highlight as I did with the green camo, but more concentrated towards the tips here. Maybe pick up a bit of the most raised uh, part of the fold here. Our highlights on the cloak are now done, and I'm going to now paint the dirty section here at the bottom. And for this, I'm going to use a mix of two parts wildwood, one part coconut fur, and two parts contrast medium. And I'm going to do a layer and then feathering. So I'm going to apply the paint, I'm going to clean my brush, and I'm going to feather it out. As you can see, I'm going section by section. And 
once that is done, you can go back with very, very thin down uh, Screaming Skull. Something like this. And you can just do redo the final highlight here at the bottom. Very gently. <laughs> 